Hey guys, Joshua with Peterson Electric. It is February of 2023. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the day outlets or heated toilet seats as my SEO guy. So he would label that for me. Um, there is a huge difference between a bidet outlet and a heated toilet seat. A heated toilet seat is going to be basically around 60 watts to 120. And that's only going to be half amp to an amp. So you can normally tie that onto um, the other 20 amp circuit in the bathroom. If your bathroom daisy chains to like three, four bathrooms with the hairdryer plug, you don't want to do that. If anything is 600 watt to 1000 watt, and that means you're heating the water of the bidet coming in, that's different. Uh, it doesn't just have a heated seat and a light. You're going to be dealing with the hot water too. You can just skip all that and use a, a water spigot at 55 degrees if you want to brave that and um, just hook that in your cold water. But if those of you that want to heat, um, you're going to possibly think about a dedicated circuit. If your panel's in the basement, garage, or outside, you have to pipe up on a two-story house and go into the attic and back down into the master bath. If it's on the main level, you're going to be drilling through drywall or hopefully your basement's unfinished. If your basement's not unfinished, you're cutting drywall no matter what you do to get to that panel most of the time. So this is just a typical heated seat right here. Again, every receptacle in the bathroom in residential has to be geofied. And so all that does is simply just warm the seat and have an LED light. Um, how you know that is you look at the kilowatt rating or the specs, especially on Amazon, they're probably going to be listed or Home Depot pretty well. And then uh, right here, these guys had to run an extension cord because they don't have an outlet. I did not put it in. This is just what they wanted to do. Keep in mind, if the toilet overflows and water hits an extension cord, yeah, that's a 